Today, the story of a secret mission that brought together Israeli and Iranian musicians to create a revolutionary album. Israeli-Iranian singer Lirez Chahi's album Roya was made in tribute to the protesters in Iran. Meaning fantasy in Persian, it was recorded with Tehran artists in Istanbul earlier this year. The Iranian musicians could have been arrested for the collaboration, so Liraz only told her family the day before she left, and not even her manager believed it would actually happen. The Islamic Republic forbids Iranians to have any ties with Israel, a country Iran considers an enemy. Well, after achieving the seemingly impossible, singer, songwriter and actress Liraz joins me to talk about her new album, Roya. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, we know you as a secret Mossad agent in the TV <laughs> series um, Tehran. Um, your name, Chahi, it means secret yeah, in Farsi. Yeah. Raz, and, Raz is a secret, yes. And Hebrew. Um, did you feel that you were on a real life secret mission? Yeah, it was pretty much the same. I felt like I have an even bigger mission because it's real life. You know, I had to keep it a top secret for over than a year and to have all the technical and emotional uh, things together. It was pretty much challenging. But as much as it was challenging, it was really uh, a dream that uh, came true. Well, you went to um, Istanbul to record over 10 days. Tell us more about how it was made. Uh, first of all, um, when I had the guts to ask the women and the men to join us uh, to the studio recording, it took a while for me to have the, you know, the confidence to do that. The minute one of them said, yes, I'm joining to this journey because I need to do something important for our life together and for our freedom, I said, OK, I, I can do it. I can do it. And then it was like magic because we started to work online and then we needed to hire, of course, a Turkish production to buy them the tickets and to deal with their passport because unfortunately we Israeli cannot do that. And the minute we met, we felt the fear change to a lot of joy and it was 10 days of literally a dream that came true together with all the Iranian instruments and my Israeli band together. It was, it was a magic. Because it is um, forbidden for Iranian people to even have an artistic collaboration yes. with the Israelis. What would have happened um, if they had been caught? Um, I, don't, I don't even want to think about it because when I, and when I started to think about it, I wanted to stop all the process of recording this album. I knew that it is dangerous, but we both, uh, you know, we, we had this deal with each other that we're not talking about it. And we keep it very secret. And if something happens, we will help each other. I believe that they can go to jail for something like that. It's not a good thing that uh, it's, it's the bad scenario. But thank God they kept uh, being anonymous and we did it. OK, well, let's have a listen to um, a song from the album. This is Azizam. Is of course a very turbulent time in Iran. Have you heard from the musicians? How they're getting on? Of course, I am on a daily basis in touch with them. Um, this whole album and my whole project of singing to the muted women in Iran is my heart. And the minute that I don't have to explain today what's going on in Iran and the world know and aware about their protest, they're shouting for their freedom. And I, I feel that uh, I'm outside of this bubble and we're outside of this bubble together. Um, of course, I think, as, as I write about it in my, in my albums, that I believe that women will have this revolution happen. And they're actually literally having this today. And you know, I always say they're fighting for the freedom, but today I'm sure they are the freedom. They are the freedom. They, are, they have no fear and they are the leaders of this revolution. And as you say, um, 
your words in the album are very prophetic. Um, this is your third album. Your first um, in 2018, Naz, was a collection of pre-revolutionary pop songs by female Iranian singers like Mgugush and Ramesh, whose mm -hmm. careers ended in 1979 because of the Islamic Revolution. After that, um, Iranian musicians began sending you clips and lyrics via mm -hmm. encrypted files. I'm keen to collaborate um, with you. And the result was your second album, Zan, which is Farsi for women. Um, now some of your songs are actually being used by Iranian protesters in their rallies and videos. And um, one of the songs is Zan Bezan. Um, the lyrics include you asking women to make their own revolution by dancing, by singing. Until when will we be silent and um, you sing? Until when will we keep our heads down? Together we will make a revolution. Let's have a listen. <laughs> watching those images, knowing that you wrote all of that before this um, revolution began? Uh, it's a lot of happiness with a lot of, you know, sadness. It's all together. Um, it's tough because um, the subject is my heart. If I go back to my grandmothers and my mother and her sisters, we all in a way muted and we all break our own walls at our own time. Because your grandmother was a singer who yes. was never allowed to sing because yes. in Iran it's forbidden. Yes. So the thing is that they are muted and today they can collaborate it in my albums and, and they use my music and their music inside this uh, uh, protest videos is very powerful. But I must say that I, I hope the world can make it better and help them uh, because a lot of people are losing lives uh, there and it's very important that all of us will gather together and do something. You know, I do it via my music. It's, uh, it's, it's very small, but still it is a bridge to, to tell people the story of the women in Iran. And living in Israel, what did everyone say when you said, I'm going to be a singer <laughs> and I'm going to sing in fast? The truth? They thought I flipped and I'm out of my mind and I should consider it again, starting singing in Farsi. But I explained that this is my mission and this is my goal and I have a message and I wanted to do something powerful. I have two daughters and I need to raise them well to understand how crazy it is to be a woman in this world, but still how, how powerful it is to have our own power and to dream our dreams very high and, and make it accomplish and take care of ourselves. And just to tell people a bit about your background, your parents are Iranian Jews. Um, they left Iran for Israel when you were born, before the revolution. And, and as an Israeli, you were born in Israel, but you were never allowed to go back to Iran. It is forbidden. And, and it was actually in LA, apparently, when you were working yes. on various films like A Late Quartet and Fair Game with Naomi Watts um, that you actually discovered your Iranian roots. Yes, I, I was looking for Iran everywhere and I grew up in both uh, in, 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 a, in a country with both parents who arrived from Iran and Israel and I understood that I have like two characters, I have double her heritage. Every time I went from school to home and home to school I felt that I'm switching identities like, like a TV series. And then I had this longing to Iran that I, I did not know how to explain to myself why I longed to something that I don't even know. So I think when I got to Los Angeles and I found out that I have family there, Iranian family, and there is one million population, Iranian population there, I understood that, okay, this is my Iran. I need to dig in. I need to explore my heritage here. And I started to dig in inside the vinyl shops and fell in love with the culture and I, I missed every audition that I had and just understood that I need to sing in Farsi and to be the voice of these courageous women in Iran. This is your third album. With each album you have become more bolder and more outspoken. What next? Oh, wow. Are you sure you want to hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that we can um, perform together, me and my Iranian musicians friends in Iran when Iran will be free. And I really hope it's going to be soon.
it. Okay, we hope so too. We hope so too. And we always end our show with our guests, a cultural pick of the moment. What have you chosen for us? I've chosen a, um, a beautiful album that I've been listening lately. It's a Corn Bean and Via Farcature. Uh, it's a beautiful album com called Ali and the song called The Rabbi. Okay, well, we're going to leave you with um, Dear Abby. Just to mention, artists including um, Jane Birkin, um, Yael, Naim and Imani are getting together for a Paris concert in support of the Iranian people. It will be on at the Trianon on the 12th of December. Liraz, thank you so much thank for being so here. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Your album, Roya, is available now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.